So since I started this, I'm going to make this kind of a second piece. All right, so the first video, you see me cleaning the S-Man 480 to clean the micron sensor using the isopropyl alcohol right here. It looks like I want to knock over my light. And uh, so that was the first video. Now the part is, I have it hooked up. You could see this uh, copper line instead of a rubber hose going down to my vacuum pump, which I turned off because it's noisy. And I got the vacuum down to 800 now. When I turned the vacuum pump on, it dropped down to 5 something. And you just leave it on until it gets below, say, 100 microns. You know you have removed the moisture because most of us don't have access to 99% pure or 98% pure alcohol. We get this 90, 91, 70%, and that's, mo that's a lot of water in there. So it takes longer to dry out your... Uh, unit so just leave it on the vacuum pump but i decided since i'm right here at the table and i had some of these other lights that came in a couple months ago and i wanted to test them actually it was these three right here that i never got to show you i've showed you these ones but i wanted to do a comparison since i made this mess with uh dye uv dye is inside my gauges and i just flushed it it's on my hands it's on my uh tell here and so these are what you get at automotive stores for $15, $9, $3. I think one of them I got when I was ordering one of these other ones. can't remember which one it was. Uh, if you exceeded a certain amount, they weren't going to charge you for shipping. So I bought one of these other ones. And I think the other ones were just out of my uh, O'Reilly's Grand Auto, whatever. So this is your plain Janes that they sell uh, if you're a... Unfortunately, uh, auto shops buy these and try to use them to look for leaks. And I feel sorry for the customers if they have such a cheap shop. This is what they're using to look for leaks. But um, here we go. My hand is covered with dye. But uh, let's see. The light's washing it out. Oh, okay, so this is a Grand Auto special or internet special. This is what you get for less than $15. I think $9.00. You can see a little dye right there. Yeah, we almost got something going there. You got a little glow going there. Where's the other one? Okay, here's your other automotive guy. You could see something going on there. Not much. Okay, so let's get... Now, this was the Neo. Uh, the Neo, this is a step up. And as you can see, you're definitely a step up on the light there. There you go. Actually, let me kill this. I'm going to kill this other light. This light is going to kill our whole test right there. There we go. Let's do that. The light was washing. Okay, now you're seeing. Now this... Is super concentrated dye. You would never have this if you were a commercial HVAC or your car uh, automotive. This is super, super concentrated. You would never have such a thing like this. It'd be more like what's on on my hand here, or you could see a little. Actually, you see more of the light than you do the dye. And let's break this one out. You can kind of see it. You could definitely see the concentrated. You could barely see it on my hands. On the hands, no. Nope. Bring this other one. Okay, this one you could see a little better. It actually whitewashes out pretty much. So this one is stronger. You can see the dye there. I think you could see it on my arm. Can you see it on my arms? Let's see, with my eyes, yeah, that's dye right there. I usually get specks of dye on me from work. Right there. Specks of dye. Let's bring this back. Nothing. Good lights are on. They sell this in Grand Auto. Or or O'Reilly's. This one. Oops. This one. There's a faint little you could see a shadow. You could see a little dot right there. Where it's more concentrated, you poke it right into it, and that's that one there. 
Grand Auto, O'Reilly's, they actually have the audacity, the balls, to actually have people spend money for shit like this. And this one you could see better. This was, I think this one was $15. Okay, so that was better. All right, now this is the Neo, and the Neo came kind of broken. They were missing their lens adjuster in here, and it's just flopping around in the breeze there. But you could see something here. You definitely see more dye and a whole bunch of little other specs you couldn't see with the other lights so the needle is definitely a step up and you definitely see it when it's a uh, just a sideline if i hit it direct it blinds out the camera unfortunately you cannot see what i can see with my eyes unless maybe if i put this lens over the lens of the camera And let's look over there. You can see the die on my unit over there. Okay, that's with the Neo. Whoa. You could really see the die all over my unit over there. And this is um, the OptiPro UV Plus. It has to say UV Plus. And let me get this... Uh, Okay, you can see dye everywhere, all over my gauges. My gauges are just covered in dye. So here's the older OptiPro, OptiPro Max. And you can see the dye everywhere. There's no problem seeing dye there. Well, actually, let's take this away. There you go. Now you can see the dye. You can see everywhere my light hits, you can see the dye really good. Now you can see the dye. So this is the OptiPro Max. Very good. Okay. Definitely can see the die. Okay, I'm going to hold this one really far away. Let's see. Okay, now I'm behind and I'm above the camera. That's how far away I am right now. Let me hold it another foot or two back. Now I'm holding my arm all the way above my head and about two feet behind the camera. Let me put it. And you could... Just see it hit a little bit there, and you can see it fluoresce the dye. So that's from about six feet away. Okay, so that's that's this one right here. And this one is the Eagle uh, UV395. That's what this one is. The Eagle UV395. Here's the new Calgon that you could get from any Johnstone. And you could see it... Uh, fluoresce there but these things you can see they're on these things are a joke this this is a crime to, to, to sell the people okay well you get to see, this one does something. So, but basically, oh, the only good thing about this one, it has a laser. So I think I'll use it for a laser or a regular flashlight, but as a UV light, no. Laser, yes. So what you got here is, these are your dime store UV lights that you get from auto parts stores. And this is what I find. I actually find professionals in garages trying to use garbage like this and charging a customer $100, $200 looking for a leak and they use shit like this, okay? Uh, that's a joke. That's actually should be considered a crime, punishable by imprisonment or cutting off the right nut. Uh, these are better. But yeah, this will be $500. Uh, these will be $180, $140. Um, actually, I can't. I don't know where my really old one is. And uh, I think this was like $69 or so. So you're you're always going to be approaching $200 to get decent UV lights. 
$500. This is the one that I was holding above my head, way above my head, so I could reach my hand about seven feet up in the air, and I was two feet behind a camera, so I was six foot away, and it was still fluorescing the light. So for $500, you better be able to fluoresce um, the dye from that far away. And this was a, a fairly good deal, uh, 45, but you gotta remember, Different dyes fluoresce at different UV lengths. You have your 365, I think you have one lower than that. You have your 395 wavelength, and then you have your 400 wavelength. And different lights will fluoresce different dyes brighter and duller. But uh, these ones that come from uh, O'Reilly's and Grand Auto and uh, Sherbert's and your AAA auto parts, you know, your, your big box stores, those guys sell you garbage. So can't recommend them. And I feel sorry anybody who's trying to, the only way you could, only dye you're gonna find is if it's a really big leak. And on top of that, they sell you garbage dye. They don't sell you good dye. So that was it. Just comparing a few lights. And uh, let's discard these, except for maybe the laser one. I could use the laser one. I like that little laser, it's useful. All right guys, that's all. This is a late night thing, and I'll catch you later.